Well, hello everybody, it's Erin, and today we're here doing another homeschool art class, and today we're going to talk about radial symmetry. So radial symmetry is basically this, a snowflake, in a matter of speaking. It's teaching the kids how to do things that are symmetrical, so whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other, and this is a craft that you just need a piece of paper. We cut papers, and we did fun colors of papers, down into six by six squares, just as a place to start. You could do it on circles. I think squares are easier because it already is a symmetrical object versus a rectangle. And then you also can pick out any fun things you have around your house. So we just put a little tray together. We found some little gems. We found some sequins. We found star sequins. We found some buttons. We just, we just kind of hunted around. We also have a whole bunch of sticky gems that are already there. And we do have a few extras that are in little, this is how I store a lot of my little doodads are in here. And basically what you do is you start off with a pencil and you just need glue. And you can use a white school glue. We're using a glue that actually has a little bit of a smaller nozzle to the end. But if you don't have that, if you just have a school glue, what you can do is put a little cup of school glue and a paintbrush and you can lightly paint on your lines. So how you start, how you go from this to what we're gonna do. So this is Catherine, so she's got her start. She wants to do hers on purple, you wanna say hi? Hi. So Catherine is here. Hello, how you doing? Hi, Beth. <laughs> so today we're gonna, again, it's all about radial symmetry, teaching the, and this is easy for anybody. Now, Catherine, I didn't give her any instructions the first time around, and I told her just to make like a version of a snowflake. And so she, put her glue down and then she just followed it. So this is another way of doing it, just putting glue and doing sprinkles and wherever it lands, it sticks. This is a little bit simpler version than what we're about to do. Here's another one she did. She sat there and did about eight of these yesterday. Was it fun? Yeah, you had fun with that? Here's another version where she did some symmetry on that. In the middle. And you put a rock in the middle. A crystal. Awesome. And then here's another version where she made a big circle and then she had some radiating arms. So those are a little bit simpler version, but we're gonna do a more complicated. And it can this can get super complicated. So even the older kids can get into this because you can have them measuring out very specific, like one inch or centimeters, depending on how you wanna go. So you can get the ruler out and you can do measurement and going, we're gonna go one inch in each of these directions and then you put your items on. So the first step you're gonna do is you're gonna find your center. So I'm gonna just go ahead and claim this as being my center. And for the older kids, if you wanna have them, again, measure exactly where the center is, it's a little bit more advanced. For the kids, you can just go, what's your best center? We need to get you your own pencil, don't we, Catherine? Yep. Yep, of course I wasn't prepared here. You use this one, I'll use this one. Yeah. I think this is a, nope, that's a, I'll use a pen, it's all good. I'll pen it up. <laughs> because you know that, Imagine. I, well, you know what? I really want to do a pencil because there was, when I made mine, I ended up erasing. So I have to find a pencil. We didn't come for it. We'll share until I can find a pencil. So I'll get you guys started. Okay. Can I borrow this one real fast? Yeah. So you know what you're going to do to start, right? Yeah. Okay. So you get started. I need I'm going to do from the, okay. Can you do it over here? Yeah. Awesome. So from this center, she is deciding to do a radius of four. You could do five. You could do three. Pick, pick a starting radial point. For this one, I think I'm going to do three. So I'm going to start with one, two, three. And so you can also get the kids talking about angles, right? So trying to do your angles as best as possible. So did you put your, oh, you haven't done any glue yet. So from here, then I'm going to do, okay, I'm deciding that I'm from here, I'm going to split that off. And I'm doing a little bit more. And whatever I do on one end, I'm going to do on the end. I'm going to stop here. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding my elements. Now, what if you don't have sequins or gems? Could you go in the backyard and find acorns or leaves? Totally. So you could make this out of things that you find in your backyard. Nature. You could totally do this with nature products. We just decided to use some of the fun things that we had sitting yeah. around our house. Yeah. All right. I am going to start with the star as my center. What do you think? Yeah. Looks yeah. Good. All right. And so just... So this is something that really, truly, it's just getting them to practice the idea. 
what if you have a kid that you're like, I don't want to do the gluing thing. They can do it with just drawing. You're going to have them doing different colors with their lines. And then on their lines, they can be drawing the circles or drawing in different colors of shapes on these. So instead of adding an object, they can draw a thing. They can change the lines. They can get their markers out and do this. So there's lots of different ways that you can kind of take this one project of radial symmetry and just go with it. Cool, Catherine. So look, she's building her, her pattern and then she's gonna go back and she's gonna add the glue on top. So that's perfect. Finding, make sure she has enough. And you can talk about color theory. So like in this one, I kept with a lot of whites and then silvers and blues and then a little bit of black and then I add a tiny bit of purple in there. So makes I'm gonna good. go. Makes it look good. It does make it look good. So I think I'm gonna do more of a, Hmm, what color? I think I'm gonna stick with the silvers and golds are so easy. Clear is easy. That's fun. And I think they're I'm gonna do clear. Yeah, these are clear. These are clear. Yeah. Or iridescent, whatever you want to call them. What do you want to call it? Iridescent. Iridescent. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with like pinks and purples. What do you think? Yeah? All right. So I'm gonna pull out. I'm more going for like a bluish clear. You're going for a bluish clear? Blue is clear. Okay. So for those of you who are just joining us for the first time, we're going to come and bring you a different craft and art activity, something that maybe there's a kit you can get so it becomes a little easier or something like this for today where it's using things, this concept, and then using what you have around your house. That's pretty fun. You have to have paper for this project. You just need paper. That's the key thing. And printer paper would work. We had some card stuff left over, so that makes it really easy. And so I'm going to pull these guys right here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm just going to lay them along. Yeah, you need your pencil. Lay these along my, so my star is a bit of a funny shape, but that's okay. Well, your star is making it a little difficult. It is making, you know what? That may not be the best thing. If I had a five pointed, that might be really good for a five pointed, but it's not really good for this one. So we're going to change that up. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do the triangle because I have a triangle shape here. That makes more sense. Look at that. Ta -da. And I actually did the angles just right. So obviously you can change this up. So I'm going to do the first one. So I'm just going to put my little dot of glue. Again, if you don't have glue, you can use a little bit of some like white glue, like a school glue. So like a school glue, something like this. Put it in a little cup and use a paintbrush. Or you could use like the tip of a pencil to kind of go in and add specific dots so it doesn't get super messy. So it's showing the kids how to conserve their, their materials that they have. Also, it's kind of a fun thing. You could use pipe cleaners, pom-poms, and a tiny bit more glue. What are some other fun things that you would want to put on here? Um, and if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Happy to. I can't answer questions after because this is considered a kid's video. The commentary has been turned off. Um, but during the live, I can see what you guys are saying. So thank you, Beth and KW. You're more than welcome. We have fun. This is giving us something fun to do. And I figured we're kind of doing this anyway at home. Why not share this with other people, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to pull it my, oops. So this is just, I mean, like you said, you did a whole bunch of these earlier. No, you have yesterday. Them? Yesterday you did them, yeah. I already know how to do it. Mm -hmm. Cool beans. Killing cool beans. That's a phrase. It means uh, good stuff. Yeah. Or that's awesome. I know, I guess that kind of dates me that I see something like that. Some of these, like these sticky things that I have here, they're so old. Then the sticky doesn't even want to work on some of them anymore. So just add a little bit of glue. I like my design so far. Um, another way to do this project instead of gluing it down or on paper, because you said you have to have paper. Actually, you don't. You could get out spoons, knives, and forks. Um, and just make a design. With that. And you could make a design on the ground with that. And just something that's temporary. Or you could do it on the kitchen table. And you can have them practice doing all the different designs. So, you know, or whatever it is that you have kind of laying around your house. You could do it with pipe cleaners. You could do it with all different kinds of objects. Let me get this little guy out of the way. Just like, uh, wait, should you get pipe cleaners, Mom? What? Should you get pipe cleaners? Should I get pipe cleaners? What do you mean? Because we have some. We do have some, but that's not what we're doing for this project. Oh. I'm showing them, I'm telling them there's an object, uh, an, another option. Okay. So I'm just going to radiate out again. I'm going to leave one more spot to put one more little thingy and then radiate out again. So, and you can have it come back together. 
But whatever you do to one side, that's the whole point of the symmetry. You've got to follow it. You got to keep the pattern going. So it's like symmetrical me. in three different directions. Right. Like exactly me. what Catherine is doing. You got it. So now I'm going to come in and add, I think I have a light pink. I need, oops, I need five. I gotta find some more light pinks. I need the pencil. Oh, you need the pencil. Take the pencil. Yours is looking very pretty, Catherine. Yeah. Is this fun? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yours is blue. So gorgeous. And what if you don't have enough of one color? Change it up. No big deal. We're kind of showing color theory about really keeping up with the patterns, but you could definitely mix it up and change up the colors and kind of have fun with that. I mean, use what you got. I don't know what to put. Thank you, Beth. You don't know what to put. Um, do you want to put some of these blue gems? No. Something Stars? Big. Oh, something big. Um, you could do these guys right here. Okay. And you can do you want to put you can put them as squares or so here's a cool thing. You can put them as diamonds. As, see, you know. So yeah, small things can be kind of hard because they're small. I will say that it was difficult to put some of the smaller gems, but it's kind of cool to do some of the smaller gems too. That's the neat part. And if there's any requests that you guys have, you're like, I'd love to learn how to do this, or you know, we got we got about 10 episodes. Oh, so what I was also saying earlier is we are on every Tuesday and Thursday doing our live homeschooling, bringing you another concept, another idea of something that is an art or a craft that is catered for mostly elementary, but I can tell you how to ramp it up to a high school level or how to go to a lower level if it's possible for that product, for that project. And also what are some, um, at noon every single time, Tuesday, there's noon central. And also how to um, do it on a budget with just things that you have in your house or where you could possibly buy the products I have a link online where you can find most of the products that we're dealing with. And I forgot to put my pen, my uh, glue the other way around. <laughs> so if you don't have supplies, you're like, I really love that kit or I really like that concept. Today was about finding things in your house and using what you have in your house. Last time was all about painting. Yes. Yeah. Tuesday, Brandon got on and he was doing a superhero painting. And so we actually had a painting kit per se and where you can find that kit. And you have to have the... Thank well, you, you don't have to. You could print out um, a sheet of paper. True, and then read. Did you, did and you design. could paint on the paper, or you could tear out a sheet out of a coloring book and paint it instead of coloring it. It's just the idea of getting paint out, or I think, is fun. Well, we used a special so, type of paint. We used acrylic paint. Yep. Well, a type of paint. A type of paint. So, how do you like being home all the time, Catherine? I like it. You like it? You're not getting bored of just being with me and your brothers? No. And no? dad. And dad. No. Are you doing are you fighting a lot? No. No? Really? Yeah. Are you sleeping in a lot? Yeah. <laughs> Is that why you like it? Because you get to sleep in a little bit more than you normally would? Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, like in Parents have a very different perspective of what's going on right now versus kids. And so it's kind of just different to see how everybody's reacting to what's going on. <laughs> All right. I'm going to add some circles to mine. So I have these really, I really dug into the depths of all the different stuff that I have. And I have these really cool, but they actually have letters on them, but I'm just going to flip them over and use the other side. And I mean, it's, this is a great way to kind of use up some fun stuff. And the kids, are you having fun with this one? Yep. Yep. I think this is fun. Yeah. I mean, I'm enjoying it, doing this. It's something that's fun to me. <laughs> so it's not just the kid thing. Adults can do it too. <laughs> I'm not enjoying it. All right, I'm going to put the dot down. And teenagers can too. Teenagers can do it. Yeah, definitely. I think this isn't anybody kind of a thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, one, two. I'm going to do a pattern here of changing the colors. One, two, three. One, two. I already have a pattern. You have a pattern? Yours is so cool, Catherine. You're doing awesome. I don't know if I might have to wait to do these. The pattern works out. Oh, I need more. You need more light ones, but I'm getting squishy right here. I think I might have to extend. I think I can do this pattern, but I gotta add some extension to it to oh, and I'm off. I'm off on my number of colors. 
can't do that. Okay, so I have an idea. So this is where you can play. This is why I don't like gluing it down right away because then you're like, no, that doesn't quite work. I got to change it up a little have, bit. That's why I just kind of like do it and then I glue it down. Right. right. Smart. You're going to have to use a glue on some of them. You do? Oh, on these? Yeah. Good to know. Yep. So there's one I have to I pulled glue. some out and they kind of didn't come. I didn't come. But some did. Some did. I definitely like using it as a diamond. Did you use it that? Yep, you used it as a diamond. That's cool. Yep, that one needs glue. Are you using it? I think I was a little off on my angle here, and that's why I'm, I'm going to run into a problem. because So oh, we're going to maybe change here. Oh, I have an idea. See, this is where you get, get fun ideas. The art comes in, and you have fun doing the art, creating. There's no rhyme or reason, it's just symmetry. Trying to keep a pattern going, trying to keep that symmetry happening. And so that, from that, I got an idea. That I do I see my idea? You'll see it in a second. I'm just finding the ones that didn't have the sticky on them. Some of them, like I said, this is a really old set of gems. That's what I did. I just want to see the ones that didn't have glue on them. Great idea. All right, so now you kind uh -huh. of just pick them up and see if they had the stick on them. Mm -hmm. We're going to add one of these little guys, right? We're going to angle them in a bit more. There, that's going to be my new pattern. There. Now all I need is one more thing. I'm just going to do a line. Across. So I got a little off because look how much of a gap there is. I wasn't oh. super symmetrical. I kind of went out of whack on that one, but it still yep. works. Still works. I think I was a little bit too wide on that angle, but still um, works. This is a button. It is a button, but it's got the shiny on it, which is why it went in with that pile. I want to do a line across for each of them. A line across. Like, hey, it's your art project. You can do whatever you anyway. want. Oh, you're going to connect them that way? Yeah. So why don't you do this? Stop. Mom. Oh, so sorry, Catherine. Oh, you just, whoops, oops, 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 oops. I didn't mean to mess it up. This is where mommy starts getting into Catherine's project. Did you want to connect the points? No. No? Okay. That's all I wanted to show you. I was just giving you an option. Mommy interfered. <laughs> Bad mommy. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and cut it off here. I mean, I could keep adding to this and I could come out. You can keep going. I'm not stopping. But all I'm going to do is we're going to say thank you so much for joining us. And we hope you gave you guys some good ideas for what to do with your kids at home. Uh, radio. <laughs> that kind of popped out of nowhere, didn't it? Every Tuesday and Thursday at noon central time, we will be live with a different project every single time, showing you some great ideas and fun ideas that you can do with the kids. Oh, you could use these guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want this one? Awesome. Yeah, I'll pass this over to you. Wow. There you go, you can play around. So I hope you guys got some great ideas. We'll be back again, like I said, next Tuesday and Thursday. We'll be doing this while we're home. We're home and through the end of May. And I will have links to what you guys can possibly, if you need to purchase any of these products, but it's also a really good way to just find things at home. And hopefully you'll join us again next week for our homeschool art class. Thank you guys. Want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Oh, give a thumbs up to this video. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye, everybody. I don't know what to do.